Hi, I'm Alan Elfman with Market News Media, and right beside me, I have a musical prodigy, genius, and the inspiration of the movie Composed, and it is Chris Herrera. I enunciated that correctly? You did. You enunciated that perfectly. How are you? Not bad, Alan. How are you today? I'm um, doing fantastic. I, I get to have my last interview with a composed artist. This is great. Oh, you're kind. Oh, no, no, no. <coughs> Pictures say a thousand words. Just imagine how many frames it took in your movie. A couple. Well, a couple. That's awesome. Two or three, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> your world premiere. Yes. Of Composed. Why don't you... It's basically an inspiration of your life story. Correct. So why don't you give a little bit, because I know there's... For people who don't know about the movie... Please. The music. Um... It's me. Um, my music is every fiber of my, of my being. Um, I, I, I started playing the piano when I was three years old. And so um, I've been playing now cons uh, consistently for 33 years. And um, I'm a composer and a producer. I just um, released my first album, my first solo album. Um, and it's, uh, the name of that album is Enter the Twilight. And I'm very proud of it. It's a culmination of about four years. Um, it's all instrumental. I didn't want to. I didn't want to cloud the, the the message. The message with vocals. I wanted the people to feel what I feel, and I'm not a vocalist, so I didn't want to first scare them. <laughs> so you want to basically, from my perspective, you wanted them to close their eyes and feel the music instead Correct. of being okay. I have to hear this, see if it's in collaboration. You wanted them to enjoy each. I don't want to tell them how they should think about their music. I want my music to help them paint a picture in their mind. I always say my album is, every, everybody who, who grabs or gets my album, it's the soundtrack to your life. Everybody's life. You're the director. This is just the backdrop. You got it. Right. And every person that has my album and listens to it, they're the cast. And they're the cast of their and their and the material is their own life. I just put the music behind them. Um, I, I'm, my inspirations. I believe that with with music is that everybody loves music. Everybody needs music. I believe and that more than enough. Exactly. And I look at it as that with with music as being such a powerful tool and, and a language within itself. I didn't want to. I didn't want. I didn't want lyrics to try to tell people how they should feel or give them that right picture. I wanted people to to just sit back and maybe look at the rock or maybe just wherever they are, drive down the street from work and had a stressful day. And my music just relaxes you, puts you in a different mind frame, lets you realize, hey man, everything is okay. Life, there's a you know, life is is an adventure. It's a long road. There are a lot of twists, there's a lot of valleys, there's even some pitfalls, there's even some potholes. But you know what, you keep driving down that street. And you don't, you know, my, I always tell people, don't keep looking behind you. Because if you keep looking behind you, you're going to walk in front, you're going to walk yourself into a wall. If you don't keep, you know, if you walk down the street, you always walk with your head forward. Because you yes. don't want the and obstacles coming up. towards you. You know, you got to dodge the obstacles in front of you. Dodge, move, weave. You always stand in there looking behind your head or behind your back, you're gonna get smacked right in the face. I've been smacked in the face, so I know how that feels. <laughs> I think we all have in yeah. some ways. Um, and, and that's where the movie really takes that message is because I'm disabled, or because I have, I don't even like that. I was because, I, I I, because I have inspired. a disability, yeah. because in the political term, oh, yeah. well, the political correct. end, I have a disability. And I feel that, and, I, and my big thing is, is that, you know what, just because people with disabilities of all kinds don't sell us self short, no mm. pun intended. Ah, uh, I will. Um, That's a tall order for It me. is, oh, uh, very good. <laughs> very nice. Thank you, thank you. Um, I want people, <laughs> please try the veal. <laughs> yeah. Try the veal. Um, I look at it as... Everybody needs it. Everybody should be given an equal opportunity or a chance. Everybody has something positive to give to society. Everybody has something positive to give to life as for humanity. 
Just because you're tall, short, wide, thin, whatever, have two legs, one leg, four legs, I don't even care. We all have something to bring to this table called life. Yes. And I, you know, I don't want to be judged by, from somebody, in the, in, I don't want to be judged just because what I look at. Don't feel sorry for me. Because I don't feel ever sorry for myself. And that's how I, I don't feel sorry for you. You know why? Because you may have this politically correct challenge or disability, but you're far more talented. You know, people look at a disability as a, a vice, as a reason not to do something. A crutch. Yeah, I am, you know, politically correct. But it's, it's the no same way. thing on that. Yeah, though. exactly. You know well, what I mean? But the thing is, is you're, you're living the dream. You're doing what you want. Doing what not, I mean. not in spite of because of exactly you do it because of you um you know part of my my little inside arrogance is i'm here to change the way people think i'm here to change the perception of the world of what of the challenges people have nobody is normal so to speak I'm in any way no, 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 i'm not even close to it and i'm offended when i am called that yes i'm like who are you to judge me normal? exactly yeah. and i look at it as to where you know there are a lot of a lot of benefits. Everybody has a talent. It's up to each and one of us to find the talent. Everybody is given a talent. If you do not want to find your talent, that's fine. That's your own freedom of choice. But don't but hate choose. the people that find it and go for it. Don't discourage the people that are trying to grab their dream. Because don't hate them because you're too scared to go try to follow your dream. I'm already inspired and uh, we have Chris Rara. So be inspired. Get the message. Listen. You have a website? I have a website. Um, my website is chrisarrera.com. And by the time you'll see this, it'll be right here. So you stay tuned for this. Chris, I want to thank you so much. And you can also check out our movie website, composedthemovie.com. Which will now also be right here as you're looking at this video. So don't we have a party to go to? I think we're gonna have a party to go we're to. We're gonna have a party to go to. Now, Chris Herrera, the movie composed. Sedona International Film Festival. You ready to party? All right. Peace. Peace. But I think that there is a definite, not majority, but there is a percentage that looks at it as the poor guy. Oh, poor him. I know that I'm not somebody that's going to change overnight. I am who I am. I'm, I'm 36 years old. I know who I've matured to and become as a person. I was telling you guys a story the other day about we were at a bar, a friend of his was playing and invited Chris to come up and play. You know, I can see how people are looking at him and like talking to their little group as he's walking to the, to the keyboard. And you know, I'm thinking to myself, you guys have no idea what you're about to see. He is going to blow your minds. You're going to eat the words you just said as he walked up to the keyboard. They were like, oh, this is kind of a novelty, it's anything, but oh my God, here's this man with this extreme talent who's overcoming um, uh, a great physical disability to, to show us this. As soon as he got up there, he started letting it rip like he does, and you could just see the shock and awe on all their faces. You could see that they were amazed, like they had seen something they'd never seen before. Do you think um, that you, you might perhaps uh, hide behind the music? Let it be like your your buffer to the world. In some respects, I use it as what sets me apart from the world. How many songs on this album? Twelve. There's twelve. Twelve. Why are you making this album? It's a total 100% release. Every song is a different emotion that I have felt in my life. So instead of using words, I use the music. So it's basically, like I said, it was some. It's my way of telling my story without words. I don't let things roll necessarily the way Chris does. I was kind of like, yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> you know, you're, you're lucky you get to see this. Um, because he doesn't have to share this with any of you. See, I'm doing first for this piano. This piano's <laughs> gonna go and sleep good tonight. <laughs>